If you're a lover of the charcoal medium, then Stephen Osuchiku is your man. Even if you've not yet been converted, he will show you more reasons to take another look at this form because of the way he interprets it in his solo show called Strokes of Imagination, featuring over 20 works of art. The Strokes of Imagination is basically telling about lines, about tones, about uh, texture, using strokes. So that's why it came about. If you look at every piece of works, you see lines. Even with the white highlights, you see the white lines. They are actually strokes of different forms. Some are going up horizontal or vertical, you know, some are going sideways and all that. So it's all about strokes. Normally, you can have drawings of um, different effects, smooth uh, dot drawing, uh, dot shading, smooth shading and all that, you know, or cross shading. But this one is stroke. I call it strokes, you know. It's a kind of technique. The interesting thing about it is that his love for charcoal came from an unusual scenario but he was able to use it to his advantage and find his own way of expressing it. Basically, I work using charcoal as a waste medium to create words over time. And it's really working well. Everybody know about the usual oil color, acrylic paints and all that, which are expensive materials. You know, so many people give excuse of not having capital to start something. But I can tell you in art, it has gone beyond capital, having capital. There are so many waste materials. I'm using charcoal, which we know as a waste material for like roasting corn or drying fish and all that. But this is art, you know, and it's really working out. The exhibition director of the Thought Gallery, Ovia Omashala, believes this artist has been able to use his imagination to produce images, ideas and sensations. When I saw the pictures, I just wanted to be here. And getting here, I saw somebody who understands what it means to create form. I saw somebody who knows how to manage values. And I saw somebody who observes his environment. This artist is somebody who records things, who is very inquisitive, and he takes it to a, a high level of detail, you know, that will catch your attention. You know, as you come in here, you'll just be looking at you and be looking at the world around you. You know, he's been able to bring our world to one space. Same old story. Division of labor against all odds are just some of the pieces that reveal the strokes of his imagination. On the program next time, we enjoy a performance by Span which talks about the importance of following your passion. A million dreams keeping me awake. To another attempt to continue the conversation about current issues in the art, this one looks at restitution and it's organized by the AAF. It's about time that we questioned the fundamental basis of the situation and killed, I repeat, killed the Western model of the museum in Africa in order for new methods for the conservation and promotion of our heritage to flourish. Enjoy that and other art gists when you tune in again. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House this week. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And I'm looking forward to more exciting things happening in the art scene in this month of March. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great day.